In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the liquify tool to transform, alter, and warp your designs. To use the liquify filter, what you're going to need to do is use the filters up in the top. So if you come up to filter, you'll find it over here. As with any filter, what's going to happen is going to open up a preview window so you can make your changes in there before you verify it. So what I always do is I save my design before I use any filter because it might crash the program. But then I can jump straight into it. So I'm going to come to liquify. Notice how it has created this secondary window that I can view this in and make changes. It also, on the left side, has a bunch of different different tools. It has a forward warp uh, tool, has a reconstruct tool. So if I, and since these are just brushes, I can alter them like brushes. Notice how I warped him and I pushed it. And I can push it out, I can push it in, and I'm pushing really heavily right now and that's kind of a lot. But if I come to the reconstruct tool, all I have to do is I use it like a paintbrush and what it'll do is it'll put it back to the way that it's supposed to be if I hold it there for a while and brush over things. So that is a way to heal things, but also if I make any mistakes, I can also press undo. There's a variety of other tools, such as the clockwise spin tool, which as I click and hold it, you can see it's spinning it. There is the pucker tool, which pulls things inward. The bloat tool, which pulls things outward. And a whole variety of other unique designs that can play around with specific things. What I think I'm going to do with this figure is I am going to play with the bloat tool. And you can come over to the right side and you can change a lot of the options of the brush, how it works, where how it's rotated, and how much it pushes uh, at a time. You can make a lot of subtle changes, but I think I'm gonna make this person look like they're kind of blowing up as if they were some sort of strange balloon, and that is why they are floating. There we go. That makes me happy. So then I'll come down to OK, and it will verify my changes, or I can come to Cancel and turn that all off. And so now my design is exactly this. And I can come back and forth to, uh, to liquefy and change things over and over again.